What's happening, everybody? Uh, I just wanted to do, I, I know I've done this before, but I want to do a quick walk around uh, in my Cherokee. I, like I said, I know I've done this before, but I wanted, I wanted to just go around and do it again. Um, this Cherokee is a 94 um, four door. Um, basically, I guess I'll start from the front and then work my way underneath and kind of go around it. Uh, the front, as you can see, the Hanson bumper. I got the old classic tried and true 8274 mounted on the Hanson bumper. Um, nine inch LED lights. I, they're just Amazon specials and I've had them for about five years, these LEDs, and I've had absolutely no trouble with them at all. They work fantastic and they're extremely bright to say the least. Um, headlights have an HID conversion. Uh, which are pretty good, they're pretty bright. No problems with it. Uh, steering. Steering is all Heim. All Heim joints, it's a rough stuff uh, steering setup. I got an engine oil cooler mounted underneath the bumper right here. Kinda gets air from like right here. These slots right here in the bumper. And it works out, works out nice. Uh, motor is just the uh, the old classic tried and true uh, four liter. Uh, that's, I think it's called a Spectro or a Spectrum air intake. Goes into the uh, the firewall right here. That little area in the cowl right in here. Uh, works pretty good. It's a little noisy inside through the vents, but uh, it works pretty good. Uh, just kind of eliminates the, uh, the, the air box over here and frees up a little bit of room. Um, not much in here under the hood but uh yeah coming around i got the old bfg ko2s a 35 inch ko2 all terrains uh belstein shocks um i'll get a distant shot for you sits pretty level i don't have any the uh i have a coil conversion in the back the suspension's a clayton it's a clayton suspension it's a clayton long arm uh, three link pro series in the front which have old Johnny joints and the rear suspension is a double triangulated I don't know if you can kind of get a good look at that let me see if I can get a better angle you can see the top the top links right there if you're really good you can see the top links uh, so the rear setup is a double triangulated and it's the old coils in the rear um, yeah, a few rust spots here and there. I mean, I drive this thing every day uh, through the winter and the summer and all year round for 13 years now. I've had the truck for 14 years, and for probably 13 years, I've driven it every day. Um, it's been, it was off the road for about six months. Uh, but uh, here's the rear the axles are uh, eight, eight, and a eight and a quarter in the rear with a Detroit locker. 456 gears front and rear uh, that's a rough stuff diff cover which is pretty much bomb proof in my book uh, another set of Bilstein shocks in the rear not much to see in the rear um, I guess I'll take you in the back it's kind of messy it's kind of messy back here but it's it's an organized mess <laughs> as I like to call it I got my uh, my old cobalt toolbox just some bags with some tools in it, my jumper cables, ARB strap, uh, ARB tree strap, I think, is the tree strap and the toe strap. Um, and my 20 pound uh, power tank, which is which is shoes, everybody's going for them 10s and 15 pound tanks, and they're just tiny, but I, I wanted to go to the biggest one I think they make, so this 20 pound lasts me probably six to eight months uh, with moderate use. So it, it lasts quite a bit of, a time. Uh, the fire extinguishers, uh, tire plug kit. Not much to see back there. I have no rocker guards right now, but they're, uh, I got so many kind of projects going on right now. Uh, they'll, they'll be on there someday. But I just ordered uh, plating, frame plating, the subframe. I'm going to plate the subframe. I have an issue with my subframe. I have, an, I have a rust issue period with this truck. I'm like missing a passenger floor pan. The passenger floor pan would be like right here. You can see where it kind of starts rusting. 
and it, all this is the passenger floor pan. It's all missing. And I have a, a problem area like right here that the frame is kind of separating. So that's one of my one of my problem areas. Another problem area is in the rear. Over here, I got a giant size hole right there under the subframe. Uh, those are two areas in in the rear and over here that I got to take care of. But I got a uh, an Iron Rock Off Road rear frame plating coming. I ordered him. I'm just waiting for him to come. And I got JCR's midsection plating coming. So hopefully I can take care of that two problem areas very soon and be done with that. Uh, then move on to the next project. But uh, yeah, just like I said, Bilstein shocks. I mean, they're dirty. They're kind of rusty. But hey, I drive the thing every day. So um, if yeah, I, I always say I like to see dirt and I love seeing dirt and little specks of rust and stuff like that on XJs because I know when I see that, that means they're driven. You know what I mean? I want a dirty XJ. I want a, a rusty XJ like, like this. I want to see. I love seeing that. It makes sound strange, but I like seeing that because I know they're, they're driven. You know, I built that thing to drive, not to sit on a trailer and go to a trail. Not happening. Not happening. That's just my philosophy. You guys might be a different philosophy than me, but I, I'll drive that thing. Um, I got a, a road trip planned. I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, just for financial reasons. Uh, but I got a road trip planned to Moab, Utah. I want to drive this thing to Moab, Utah, and to Hurricane, Utah, and wheel a snot out of it and drive it home. That's how confident I am with my drive. I am a veteran driver. I'm an extremely experienced driver for 35 years. So I'm extremely confident with my driving and my truck's capabilities. So I know that's going to cause a little bit of controversy, but anyway, it is what it is. Moving on. Um, like I said, I got, I just going back to the front axle, I got a Dana 30, a stock Dana 30 housing. Uh, it's filled with chrome molly shafts, 29 spine chrome molly shafts and an ARB air locker. And the rear has a chrome molly shafts in it, 29 spine chrome molly shafts in the rear also i don't think i mentioned that but uh uh what else what else what else communication i am an i am an uh a ham radio operator so my ham radio setup there's my mag mail antenna and i have a dual band icom 2730a uh uhf vhf radio uh, this is a ham radio, so you need a license to operate this radio. I am a, a licensed ham operator. Um, as far as as far as communications, to me, that's the number one form of communication uh, off roading or any remote area. Uh, your signal can get out forty to fifty miles in in certain conditions. In most conditions, you can put out thirty to forty miles. Um, so it's it's definitely it's it's a little bit of a challenge getting your license. I mean, it's kind of easy to test, but uh, it's worth getting to me. I've had mine for 28 years. So anyway, that's it for communications. And I just wanted to make a really quick. I'm sorry I'm talking fast, but I just wanted to make a quick video of my XJ. There it is. See you guys. Have a good Memorial Day weekend.